channel. In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the pose brush. What can this brush do? This brush is used to pose a model simulating a major like deformations. Several different deformation modes can be used to perform IK deformations or altering and moving the proportions of the mesh, the fall off of the deformation across multiple segments is controlled by the brush fall off curve. So let's click on it to activate it. Let's see you what are the brush settings concerning the post brush. Click on this uh, button for brush settings. This will show you different features and different factors all over here. You have reduced unit deformation target. I'm just gonna show you some essential factors you should set up to to make your workflow good and uh, to see how to use this brush. Let's discuss the deformation target. What that means, we have uh, two different options. You can select between these two options. We have the geometry and cloth simulation. What that mean concerning the deformation target? It is how the deformation of the brush will affect the object. So let's uh, select cloth simulation. Go over here to try it again. First of all, I should I should try try to for the geometry. Also, this will affect the geometry. Hold and drag to see the effect exactly. This is for the when we have a flat surface. So let's try to draw using another brush, like draw brush, for example. Let's draw over here. Let's make this edge, for example. So go over here. Let's uh, try the the brush, the the pose brush, for example, like this. You can see the effect clearly like this when holding and dragging. Also, concerning this edge, also you can see the difference when we have a flat surface. You can check it out for this geometry. Altering, also let's go over here to try it for the selection of the cloud simulation. For example, let's try it. You can see the effect clearly and that's pretty awesome. When we have the cloud simulation selection, you can see that, uh, that this uh, feature will allow you to deform the mesh by deforming the constraints of a cloud simulation. And there we have, and we apply it, as you can see, it's very clear over here. And you can distinguish between the, the cloud simulation feature and the geometry feature when selecting over here using some uh, brush settings on this panel. So let's go back to try it for the geometry selection option. And you can see the, the effect clearly. Uh, this is for this geometry feature and this is for cloud simulation feature. So let's go ahead and to, to see the other great features like deformation option on this panel. We have rotate twist. It's uh, it's set to rotate twist concerning the deformation option. So let's uh, go ahead and apply it. When selecting this option over here, go back to see the effect exactly. You should draw using the draw brush or other different brushes to alter geometry like this. For example, we have this edge which is uh, due to the altering geometry also over here. In order to see the effect clearly on this mesh, you can apply different deformations and alterations. So let's uh, click on 
on the brush settings over here. Now I miss it. This uh, process. You should uh, select the post brush. Go over here to <coughs> to see the brush settings on this panel. We have the deformation option. We select to rotate and twist in same time. We can apply it on this edge over here. And you can see the effect clearly when you apply it like this. So let's go back to change the deformation option, scale and translate. So let's apply it over here to see the effect. This is the effect when you try to do it. So let's define it uh, a little bit to understand what is the main goal for this uh, transformation. Concerning the rotate twist, rotate segments around the pivot point that is calculated automatically based on the radius of the brush and the topology of the model. So when pressing Ctrl, the brush applies a twist rotation to the posing segments instead of using a rotation or a naked deformation. So let's go back to select the first option, which is the rotate and twist option for the deformation and it's applied over here, for example, let's apply it over here. Hold down Ctrl key to see the effect uh, for the IK deformation. The brush applies a twist rotation to the posing segments instead of using the rotation or an IK deformation. I hope you understand what I explain now. So let's move to the next option for deformation the scale and translation click on brush settings over here go to go to select the second option for deformation which is a scale and translate go back to apply it over here also you can see the effect clearly over here you can see the effect clearly when holding and dragging move around and uh, try to drag and in order to make the geometry that you want or to make the to create the shape the shape you want concerning the scale translate this option alters the proportions of the mesh using the origin of the segment as a pivot while holding control the brush moves the entire segment so let's hold in control and the right you can see the effect clearly and exactly when releasing the control key, you can see the effect crudely, like this. So now let's try the next option. Go back to the brush settings over here on this panel. Go to deformation option. Select squash and stretch option. So let's try to see what can this feature do to your mesh. As shown here, we, when holding on drag, upward, upward or downward, you can see the effect clearly over here. What can this uh, feature do? This uh, works similar to scales translate, however, it applies different scale values along different axes to achieve the stretching effect. The pivot point for this mode is calculated by using the local space aligned to the segment. So let's move to the next uh, feature which is the rotation origins. By clicking over here we have topology, we have uh, three different sub options. So what can the first option do? The topology for concerning the topology, this sets the rotation origin automatically using the topology and shape of the mesh as a guide. Concerning the face sets, creates a pose segment per face set starting from the active face set. Concerning the third option, face sets FK simulates a forward kinematics deformation using the face set and the cursor as control. Concerning this option for the post origin offset, what can this feature 
do the offset of the pose origin in relation to the brush radius this is useful to manipulate areas with a lot of complex shapes like fingers concerning the smooth iterations controls the smoothness of the fall off of the deformation we have also the pose IK segments controls how many IK bones are going to be created for posing also we have the different other features when enabling this feature which is keep anchor point keeps the position of the last segment in the, in the IK change fixed also for this feature connected only causes the brush to only affect topologically connected elements disabling this can have an impact on performance when disabled keeping the maximum distance as low as possible will help counteract the performance impact max element distance concerning this uh, factor maximum distance to search for disconnected loose parts in the mesh thanks for watching